Hello fellow Aptarians. It's uh, May 30th and I'd like to give a little bit of an update. Uh, I finally have some weather that I can do this. Uh, it turns out that uh, uh, we've had uh, thunderstorms overnight and the last time I did a recording there was so much wind noise that uh, it was unusable but uh, we're making another try right now. Uh, the uh, first piece of news I'd like to talk about is that for those of you who live in the Long Beach area in California, Electrify Expo is going to have uh, an Aptera presence and a lot of you will be able to look at uh, an Aptera prototype uh, in person. Uh, I was lucky enough along with my wife left last November to uh, ride in one and it was a really exciting experience. Uh, the other thing that I'd like to talk about a little bit is the production plans. Uh, we have had uh, an announcement now that Aptera has uh, obtained the uh, robot robotic platforms that are going to be used for the uh, Aptera assembly. Um, back in November when I stopped by the factory I uh, talked to the foreman of the work crew who was uh, preparing the space and at that time it was a bare concrete floor uh, and I had assumed like many that there would be uh, various uh, kinds of equipment uh, brought in uh, like uh, perhaps rails or other ways to move parts along an assembly line. Uh, it turns out that Aptera is actually going to be using programmed movable robots and so the, the uh, bare concrete floor is actually the operating system that's going to be used in the factory. There are many, many innovations that uh, are going to be used in the current uh, Aptera production plan and I think that this is probably uh, at least as significant as the car itself. Uh, as many of you know, Tesla has been using uh, a Giga press for uh, manufacturing uh, large stampings for body parts uh, that has extremely high capital costs. The Aptera capital costs for their composite parts are more than an order of magnitude less expensive than what Tesla is using and they're going to be resulting in parts that are stronger and uh, lighter than what uh, are being done uh, by Tesla. The uh, uh, revolutionary, revolutionary nature of the Aptera production design which will carry over into subsequent vehicles such as a four-wheel five-passenger sedan is going to mean that their production costs are far, far lower than uh, what has previously been the case. One of the advantages that stems for this, from this is that uh, micro factories make sense. So instead of expanding the factory that uh, I visited, the factory space, um, they can easily build other small similar factories, each capable of perhaps 10,000 vehicles a year uh, in other parts of the country. And uh, this means that uh, the energy costs for distribution uh, are going to be lower because the, uh, the vehicles can be sourced from many places. Uh, each factory requires in the neighborhood of 20 23 people according to the initial plan that uh, was designed by uh, Sandy Monroe and so we're talking about human scale uh, factories that are going to be great places to work because of the uh, cleanliness and uh, the uh, size where people can get to know each other and uh, become friends and uh, due to my visit to the Aptera uh, site back in November, I, I found a, I didn't meet a lot of the people there, but everyone I did was passionate and uh, really excited about what they were doing, and they were people of great talent. And I'm sure that this is one of the things that Aptera is going to be able to, uh, to, to grow uh, without losing.
So I am very excited about uh, the Aptera production method and I am quite hopeful that uh, it will be a model that will be picked up by other companies as well. Uh, thank you very much and I look forward to talking to you next time as we have more announcements about the Aptera production.